Hi guys! Today we're going to show you what we pack in the carry-ons for the kids when we're going on a long flight. Of course we're going to need lots of snacks, but we want things that are healthy, going to keep them full, but not make too much of a mess, easy to eat, and we always avoid nuts when we're flying just because you never know with allergies. You don't want to get to the airport and last minute they make an announcement that you have an allergy on the flight and then all of a sudden you can't eat any of your snacks. All right, we ready? Here's our carry-on. Alright. The first thing we like to pack are these veggie straws. Now the name says veggie. They're mostly potato, but they are a great alternative to potato chips. They're fun to eat, they're not that messy, and a serving size is about 38, so it really feels like you're getting a lot. Another thing we like to bring are pretzels. These are crunchy, they help keep you feeling full, and they don't make a big mess. They are just a little loud. We also like to bring mini bagels. Again, this is a snack, so we don't really want to fill the kids up too, too, too much, like instead of a meal. So that's why we like the minis. They're smaller. You can just give them just a little bit of cream cheese. You can even try to pick some up at the airport, at a Starbucks or something. Sometimes they do have the little containers. And then it's a perfect snack, especially if you are taking an early morning flight. You just have a quick breakfast for the kids. Another thing we love to bring is dried fruit. Fresh fruit is really hard to travel with, especially on planes. Also, if you're traveling internationally, it does become a little bit of an issue. So we like to bring dried fruit. Today we're bringing mango, but you can also bring raisins, dried cherries, dried apples. Those are some of our favorites. So we're gonna... I also really like to bring some sort of protein in the form of a bar. This is really, it's really hard to bring protein unless you want to deal with hard boiled eggs on a flight, which I don't. It gets a little messy and a little smelly. So we are bringing some granola bars with us. I always look for the kind that have protein because protein is gonna help those kids feel full and therefore less cranky on the plate. Whenever I travel, I always pack the snacks for the kids in these reusable bags because obviously bringing an entire bag of anything on a plane is just gonna lead to fights and food being tossed from aisle to aisle. So everybody gets their own individual bag. The best part of this is when you get off the plane, the best part about this is when you get off the plane, you have these bags that you can then use for snacks the rest of your trip. Finally, I always bring a water bottle. Yes, you are not allowed to carry liquids through security. However, empty water bottles are allowed and then you can just fill it up once you're through. You can try going to a Starbucks or any of those and seeing if they'll fill your water bottle. A lot, of, um, a lot of airports have water fountain stations where you can fill up your bottle and it's free, which is way better than paying $4 for one of those bottles of smart water that you know the kids are just gonna spill all over themselves the minute they sit down. Finally, we also travel with these, especially now that it's COVID, we are taking some wet wipes. Those kids are touching everything in the airport and before they touch food and then put it in their mouth, we definitely want just a quick wipe to get rid of the germs. So I always grab a pack of these, one pack per child because they're gonna go through it. And the bag is resealable, so you just have your wipes, they wipe their hands, they eat, they wipe their hands again and they keep eating throughout the flight. And of course, it wouldn't be a flight if we didn't come prepared with plenty of activity books. I always go to the dollar store and stock up on these sticker puzzles, which are some of my favorites because they're easy and they don't make a mess. All right, well, those are our travel tips. Leave a comment below and let me know what you always pack with you when you're traveling with the kids. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips about traveling.